Have you ever heard of an ice bullet? Rumor has it it can kill without leaving a trace. The idea is that the projectile melts inside the body and disappears. To test the claim, Adam decided to try making an ice bullet for himself. First, a quick primer. A cartridge has two main pieces, the casing and the projectile. When you pull the trigger, the primer lights the powder and the explosion forces the projectile out of the case. That meant they weren't really trying to make an ice cartridge. They were making an ice projectile. Jimmy started by crafting a projectile mold, pouring water into it, and plunging it into liquid nitrogen. It sounded simple, but when he popped the mold open, the ice projectile shattered. Repeated attempts with coatings to protect it still failed to yield an intact piece. Next, Tori made a complete mold using gel and pulled the projectile from that. Once the gel hardened, they poured water into the mold, seated the metal casing on top, and froze the assembly for 12 hours. This time, the ice projectile came out whole. They tested it right away, and the target showed no impact marks, only some unburned powder. A close-range test produced the same result. Puzzled, they consulted ballistics experts and learned the problem. Ignited gunpowder generates very high temperatures and accelerates the projectile so quickly that an ice projectile melts almost instantly during firing. In short, the ice bullet is mostly a scary gimmick. But they didn't stop there. They tried a different idea, a meat bullet. They packed ground meat into a bullet-shaped mold and froze it. Freezing changed the structure, and the meat became hard, almost stone-like. The results, however, were surprising. The frozen meat struck the dummy but failed to penetrate. Once again, the experiment failed, and the rumor was finally put to rest.